light and peace brothers and sisters topic of discussion today is sickness and disease in heaven um the OR psychology university is dedicated to give our uh, readers students teachers prophets humans an understanding of what goes on in heaven because if you don't know what happens in heaven you'll be lost when you die and this is one of the reasons that the OF psychology university was created in order to teach people and uh, explain things to for them to know so that when they cross over after death they'll get a proper understanding and the OFC Bible was launched uh, in the year 1882. Few people know about it. And for those few people who know about it, they've embraced it and they're now beginning to send this information and then spread this information out to the global world. So in this topic, I'm going to be explaining stuff, uh, diseases and sickness that arises or, you know, happens in heaven. First thing to... Uh, explain is that when human die and when you die with a sickness or disease and now is a good time to talk about sickness and diseases in heaven because um um we have a an issue right now where the coronavirus is uh spreading and what people are thinking is that you know of course yeah when humans die you know that's it that the sickness doesn't follow or continue in heaven and that's not true so i'm gonna go to the OAPC. there's uh there's numerous of verses that tells you uh, talks about sickness and diseases even angels uh fallen angels they they use sickness against humans too um and when they even go to war uh they'll take a sickness from a human a dead body from one nation or from one city and you know spread it um this this is fully detailed and explained in the OFC bible but today i just want to explain something um and you know it is proper for you to clean your body before death take care of your body make sure your body is in proper order so that you don't go to heaven and you you find yourself in chaos and then you know they you end up in hospitals and nurseries uh uh in uh in heaven now just to be clear just like we have hospitals nurseries you know doctors physicians nurses in our world they have this in heaven so what i'm going to do is i'm splitting the the, the topic into two parts one is what are these angels doing in an educational system and there's a reason why you have angels who enter heaven and these angels are the one that believe in the creator what happens is the fallen angels who assume the position of gods do not even offer this educational system to their angels to the spirits that believe in them and a perfect example is the christian god he he never during his uh reign or uh, you know in doing a grain in heaven he never properly give education to the spirits that he captured so i'm gonna go to the opposite uh, first i'll start with the uh the book of divinity chapter 3 verse 20 to 22 and i'm gonna read on and this this in verse 20 it only refers to angels who believed in the creator and this angel when they enter heaven they were they they were appropriated with educational system and i'm going to focus on just uh two criteria: the nurse and the physician and i'm leading on to something because there are sickness and diseases in heaven but why is an why is a spirit or an angel in heaven going through educational system to become a nurse okay so in the book of divinity chapter 3 verse 20 to 22 verse 20 the 15th divine law pertained to the same spirit which was after he has served three years as a nurse assistant to the asaf you see that asaf he shall be promoted to the hospitals in heaven did you hear that there are hospitals in heaven as an assistant to the physician you see that we have physicians 
angels who are physicians, that's equivalent of doctor. They have doctors in heaven. And they shall teach him the restoration of spirits and chaos and crazy spirits and deformed spirits and of sick spirits and of spirits afflicted with foul smells. You see, they have sick spirits, deformed spirits. So for those of you who think that, you know, when you cross over, when you die here, you have a sickness here or disease here, that when you die, when you go to heaven, that's it that that sickness doesn't follow that's not true um you know the book of divinity here is telling you that there's a spirit who who served as a nurse assistant for three years and after that is promoted to the hospitals in heaven as an assistant to a physician an assistant to a doctor i'm going to read on and they shall teach him the resurrection of spirits in chaos and crazy spirits deformed spirits and of sick spirits of spirits of spirits af afflicted with foul smell who cannot clean themselves especially of spirits of women who produce abortion on themselves or suffered to be done to them and on monomaniacs and all manners of diseased spirit you hear that diseased spirit so we have sick spirits and diseased spirits so and and the physicians shall teach him with day when they go down to mortals to remove fetus and he shall learn how they are severed safely to both and they shall take him he severed to both this this is no different like a doctor who perform a surgery on human and they want to transfer kidney they want to transfer heart they want to transfer liver from one human spirit to another to one human to another this or uh, this these physicians these are surgeons you see that and they're teaching these spirits how to perform this uh surgery in heaven not in our world now just to be clear this is going on in heaven and they shall take him to the battlefields where mortals have slain one another whose spirits are in chaos or are still fighting and he shall assist in bringing them away from the corporeal place and learn how to restore them and where to deliver them when restored and if they are not in any region near at end the physician shall teach him to the nerves and show him how they are untied and they are mastered and delivered if there is any hell near at end the physicians shall teach him there and teach him how to how hell is delivered and for those of you who think that Hell is a permanent condition in heaven. That's not true. Yeah, clearly tell you that spirits in in hell are delivered. You see that? And his people restored. For 10 years, you see that? He shall serve as an assistant to the physicians. Verse 21. The 16th divine law applied to the same spirit. This is educational system now. This spirit is entered in the false resurrection education where he's proficient in certain skills, in certain educational system. And after graduating from one level, he goes to another. This is wonderful. This happens in heaven. You'll never see this in the Christian Bible or your Quran and the Torah. You'll never see this. Verse 21, the 16 divine law applied to the same spirit which was having fulfilled the part of assistant physician he shall be promoted to the full rank of nurse you see that so you have a nurse an angel who is a nurse wow and in that department he shall serve 10 years which completes his emancipation in that order and after that any and all the nurseries of the lower heavens shall be free and open to him he shall go to whichever one he desires except when specially commanded from a certain work by his lord or by the god of his division this is amazing verse 21 clearly tells you that this angel gets promoted to the full rank of a nurse so what does a nurse do you'll find that in the upcoming chapters the 17th divine law referred 
to the same spirit which was having passed a satisfactory examination by his lord and his lord's attendance he shall be promoted to the full rank of a physician physician is no different as a doctor we have doctors in our world and when you go to hospitals you have a doctor who specializes in stuff so this nurse after a uh, this is this is clear this is not complicated to understand and a lot of people might not understand this you have doctors nurses in heaven these are angels who are skill set no difference in our world verse 22 the 17th divine law referred to the same spirit which was having passed a satisfactory examination by his lord and his lords attended he shall be promoted to the full rank of physician in that department in heaven he shall serve 50 years and then his emancipation in that order shall be complete and all the hospitals in the lower heaven shall be open to him and he shall choose which whichever of them he desires at his place of labor unless specially required by his lord and the law and the god of his division now just to summarize you have here a, an angel who become an assistant to a physician and that angel also becomes a nurse and after the person become a nurse he becomes a physician now why do we have an assistant nurse in heaven a nurse in heaven and a doctor a physician in heaven why that's because there are sickness and diseases in heaven and when humans die with this sickness and diseases they carry it on in heaven so the solution is that you have to have a nurse a doctor an assistant to nurse an assistant to physician also in heaven to cure to remove to take care of these angels humans who die if you don't have it then you have chaos in heaven that's why you have hell in heaven you see so in the next chapter i'm going to tell you show you clearly the spirits that die in our world get taken care to you know they get taken when they get to heaven this is what happened so there are numerous of verses but i took this one just to drive drive uh my lesson today to show you clearly so the diseases that we rise we have here in our world carries on to heaven and a lot of people think that said after you die that say oh no i'm i'm free of that in heaven no it continues in this time you have nurses and physicians who will assist you in the nurseries in the in the in the in the hospitals in heaven the book of Agapeti, chapter 11 verse 4 the sweet messengers departed earthly Fragapati then commanded that the avalanche that's a ship to be anchored for a day and he and many of his hosts went out into hell you see that where the spirits were weeping wailing and cursing and lying in drunkenness and luxury many of them were naked and foul smells hundreds of thousands of them having had you see that having had deceased corporeal bodies while on earth now carried with them into hell the substance of their corruption even the rottenness of plagues and consumptions and of other diseases it is not even lawful to mention now what are the other diseases in heaven that these humans carried on that is even unlawful to mention one thing about the oapsi bible is that when they say unlawful to mention that means they're talking about diseases that like std aids you see what i'm saying they when as soon as an angel say unlawful to mention those are diseases that they cannot even begin to start talk about they exist in our world today you know and now you know maybe somebody had an anal sex and there you go the person had a disease whatever diseases that we have here that's unlawful to mention regularly that we cannot even talk about and don't be surprised right now the coronavirus is unlawful to mention but to be to be to be sincere this is nothing new that we've had this even in the past years even during the ancient times you know so i'm gonna go so this year clearly tells you that humans die with diseases with their bodies while on earth 
And this book of Fargo petition, chapter 11, verse 4, clearly states that. You never see this in the Quran, the Christian Bible, the Tanakh, whatever spiritual Bible other people read. And if you see it, there's no proper explanation about it. The book of Apollo, chapter 14, verse 3 to 4. But my physicians are tired. You see that? My nurses are tired. So what is telling you the physicians in heaven is tired. They are tired. The nurses are tired. My teachers are tired. Be wise, my sons and daughters, who has reformed a beggar by giving to him. What physicians prevent sickness by healing? Verse 4. They bring forth in deformity on the earth, and you must cure them in heaven. You see that? This verse 4 is telling you they have diseases while on earth. Something happened to their body. They got deformities in their body while on earth. And you must cure them in heaven. You see that? They squat on their entities on earth. And they squat the same way in heaven. You see? What goes on in on while on earth when they die happens to them in heaven. This verse 4 of book of Apollo chapter 14 is clear. They bring forth in deformity on earth, and you must cure them in heaven. They squat on your attributes on earth, and you squat the same way in heaven. You must cure them. Wow. So, if anyone wants to say, oh, no, that's not true, Oaps is clearly telling you, I got numerous of verses, but I'm using this just to drill out the point that sickness and diseases happen in heaven, when you have them on earth, when you have them in this world, when you die, it's not over. It continues in heaven. Book of Simple Amaj, chapter 5, verse 36. And in my kingdoms, my Lord shall establish places of learning, places of labor, places for the sick. You see that? And helpless angels that rise up from this world, from earth. My lords shall raise them up to know me and the glory of the worlds that I have created for them. Inspire them to perfect themselves in wisdom, purity, and power. So they may arise and inherit my interior heavens. You see that? That's the solution. So before they even rise to interior, which is the emancipated heaven, in the lower heaven, they are places of sickness. What are the places of sickness in heaven? Oh, I've already told us hospitals, nurseries. You see that? So, Book of Sleep of March, chapter 5, verse 36, also tells you they have sickness in heaven and they have a place where they put them. Just like in our world, when you're sick or you're not feeling fine, you go to the doctor. Some of you, if you have more sickness or the sickness cannot be cured right away, they, they you know, they, they put you in, uh, in a sick bed, they hold you in, uh, in the emergency room right there. Book of Torah, chapter 2, verse 12. Book of Torah, chapter 2, verse 12. One million founders of hospitals for chaotic angels and others stricken with disease. You see? You see that? This is amazing. Brothers and sisters, final chapter. Book of Judgment, chapter 17, verse 11. I have not come to heal and treat the diseases in flesh or spirit. You see that? I love the book of Judgment. If you have not read the book of judgment you need to go read it it's it's amazing the book of judgment chapter 17 verse 11 i have not come to heal and treat the disease in flesh or spirit nor to re-establish any of the ancient doctrines or revelations you see that so so they are they they they, they have this book of judgment chapter 17 verse 11 is also saying that you know they are disease in spirit that means the spirits is angels spirits or angels so this year is saying that you know god is saying yeah to god now that he didn't come to treat the disease in flesh or spirit no he established he was driving a point here and he has not come to heal you see this is amazing brothers and sisters here you have it sickness and disease in heaven and when you get to heaven it's not over you get put the put you in the hospitals and if you're in chaos in hell they also uh, take care of you and then until you fully developed or you're fully healed and then you can move on uh, and rise in wisdom and power. You cannot take sickness and diseases to the emancipated heaven called Etheria or you have to be cured in the lower heaven. Uh, brothers and sisters, um, light and peace now. Bye bye now.